Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I want to show you about multi-channel audio and how to know or if you've not able to access your multi-channels or audio in Final Cut Pro and how to find it, how to expand it. Um, so let's get into that now. Let's do it. All right, so I have this uh, this video file here, which is MP4. MP4s can store more than uh, two channels of audio. It can shoot, it can store like six, if not more, possibly. Um, but it can be tricky to kind of learn or find out how to utilize and get those the best out of these tracks to see them, get them to show. And it's like, how do you show multi channel audio? Um, right, so I'll tell you what to do. Once you've got your track here, first of all, you need to go to the inspector, which is here, and you go into your audio section, and then. You go into your audio configuration, you can see dialogue, and in this case, you can see I've got dialogue 2, which is grayed out and is disabled. This will not play just in a standard like QuickTime player because you end up thinking it's missing. Um, but we are in Final Cut Pro and we need to learn how to show this, so I'll just show you how to do it right now. So we need to tick it first of all, we need to activate it. Um, in this case, Dialog 1 is is um, a, a desktop audio in OBS. I've got that separate to the mic audio, which is this one, Nelgato mic. Um, I've just got this, by the way, and uh, upgraded the Blue Yeti. Hope it sounds all right. Um, but uh, anyway, that's not what this is about. Uh, we have enabled the Dialog 2. Right now, we need to show those um, tracks those channels so we can adjust and, and uh, fine tune them for our video. We have to click the main clip, then we go to clip at the menu, go down to expand audio components. That is invisible visible in this window, but I've put that as a screenshot. So there is a shortcut to it, but it just seemed kind of a little bit complicated. We'll just do the menu setting for now to remember it. Now it's showing the two audio channels the two audio tracks and now we can tinker this could be like music um and this is like mic sounds sometimes it's good to have different channels so you can tweak and adjust the volume levels more um but that is a bit more detail that's a bit more more not, not what this video is about um i've already showed you how to expand them um so now this is pretty much el presto uh, the tracks are the and this is, uh, that's my voice and this one, but sometimes you want to uh, separate them initially off the bat. So to disable one, press V, that disables the one channel and then you're left with the other one. So at, uh, you can adjust those levels to your liking. All right. This on audio. That, on that, you know, obviously too loud there. Um, and to adjust the other one, we uh, press V again and then we V out the other one, disable it, and then oh yeah, we've got some uh, crazy stuff there, but big music, and um, yeah, so you can adjust those levels, um, and when you're happy with that, pull that together in a video, and you know the audio levels, like desktop game audio, is separate from your own mic. The reason in this case I've got two separate channels is because. I can put a filter in OBS on my mic channel, which filters out a very noise, noisy fan I've got in, on my laptop right now. So I've got this really good filter in OBS, which just works on that channel alone. If I did add it on one channel, it would mess up the audio from the other channel, the, the desktop or the browser audio in this case. Um, so yeah, any questions you want me to go into this? Uh, uh, well, I think I've got into everything. But if you have any questions, um, you know, please consider subscribing. Um, I've been like spending hours and hours in, into learning this stuff. And I'm gonna, I want to share um, things on this channel as well with Final Cut Bits. Um, so thanks for listening and uh, see you in the next video. Peace.